Hi there, my name is Dr. Howard Burke and I've been a preceptor uh, for the University of Toronto for almost 20 years now. I've worked in the community of Bowmanville for about 25 years and that's where we are now. Um, Bowmanville is about 50 kilometers east of Toronto. The hospital does have accommodations right next to the hospital for residents and uh, therefore a car is not absolutely necessary. Uh, although I have a, had a lot of residents who find the commute from Toronto out to Bowenville uh, not impossible. Uh, I have a very varied practice. Uh, so I have my office work and I only do about two and a half, three days a week in my office. I usually do at least one shift a week in the Emerge, where that's usually an eight hour shift, where I'm rushing too soon. And uh, I also look after my own inpatients in the hospital. I also do have an extensive palliative care practice, so I end up doing a fair bit of house calls on those other off days. Uh, I also do some urgent care work in the local urgent cares here and I'm also the only coroner in town. Bowenville is a community of about 40,000 people with a catchment area of about 90,000. It's a very fast growing area. Uh, Bowenville is part of the Lake Ridge Health Corporation, which includes Oshawa, which is just about 20 minutes down the road. So, and that's our referral hospital. Also includes Port Perry, just to the north of us, and there's a Whitby uh, uh, site as well. And uh, I usually only see about four or five patients uh, in an hour in my clinic. I typically have my resident go in first, see the patient, make their assessment, figure out their plan, and then I come in afterwards and we review the, the idea, the plan, and I see if there's any sort of teaching points to take from that. Uh, I do have uh, an EMR, we, we, we've been using Practice Solution uh, in my office for 15 years now. If there's any questions, uh, residents should feel free to email me. Uh, and I often will ask my, well, I definitely ask my residents when they first start off what it is that they want to get out of this teaching practice uh, month. And I usually try and fine tune it for them. So if they say they want more nursing home work, I'll hook them up with one of my uh, colleagues to do some more of that. If they want to do more hospice work, I hook them up with a colleagues of that. If they want more merge, et cetera, et cetera.